Okay, in this lesson we're going to look at variables, JavaScript variables. What I've got here is I have a web page uh, in Google Chrome and I have the alert button and we've seen that before and I'm going to click on it and I get my alert box, JavaScript alert, says welcome George who is 34 years old. Now you might say well what does that have to do with the price of tea in China so to speak. Well, let's have a let's have a look at the at the code as to how this was created with uh, with George. Okay, there's George right there, and I think I'm just going to have to get those together there. Let's see if I can get this behind there, and I can't. Okay. So if I look at this, I see that I have. Uh, a variable var that's a reserved word and I'm having an identifier called name now name is a variable that can hold values and the rules about variables in JavaScript is that they can be of any practical length I think less than 255 characters they they must be able to start with a uh, an underscore or letter of the alphabet they are case sensitive for example capital name is different from the variable lowercase name and th the other thing is that variables must not have spaces so i see i've declared two variables here variable uh, name which i've assigned a value to i've assigned a value of george now, since George is a, a bunch of keyboard characters strung along together, that's called a string type variable, and I put it inside quotation marks. I declared another variable called age, and this I did not put inside quotation marks because it's a number. Numeric values, which let's say the reason why I use them is because I want to be able to do arithmetic operations with them. Uh, like keeping a, a game score, uh, they don't use quotation marks. So uh, essentially I declare two variables. Uh, one is, is identified as name, the other is identified as age. What I've done now for my alert, I put in here welcome with the space right here, you see that space, and I'm concatenating the variable name. Now notice name does not have quotations around it because it's a variable and it's been assigned a string called George. This will take care of itself because quotation marks are already inside the variable. And then I'm concatenating to it, I'm connecting to it a space after the quotation mark who is a space and I'm concatenating the age which of course we see is going to be 34 and concatenating a space years old and then I end my script and then of course I have my button now all we have to do is be able to find it okay there it is there's my button and let's try it again let's see see what we get let me move this over here because I want to compare the output of that to the code if I can yeah there it is George who is 34 years old now let's compare let's compare this where did the word George come from? That came from name. And remember, the variable name was assigned a value George. Notice the space here between welcome and George. I put that space right in here, okay, and inside the quotation marks. And notice who is 34 years old. Notice the space after is, you see that? And notice the space before the Y for years, okay? So what we've done here is we've had an introduction to JavaScript variables. We see that they can hold values and we've learned some of the rules about them like they are case sensitive and they can be of, of any reasonable length, no spaces, and they are case sensitive. Okay, thank you for watching this video.